What's going on guys? I want to talk to you today about what to expect if you decide that you're going to go the custom clothing route, whether that's suiting or anything else, because I've been in this industry now for about four years and the majority of that time I've actually spent inside shops working face to face with clients and because of those hundreds of interactions that I've had, I've been able to see patterns that are pretty consistent across what expectations are and there are a few things that based on my own experience, based on the experience of clients, based on the other experiences from people in the industry, I feel like are misconceptions that are pretty common and I want to be able to clear those up for you guys so that you can go into a custom buying experience with your eyes wide open. Especially because in no way should having this knowledge minimize the, I don't know, the magic. Because it really is the coolest experience you'll ever have when it comes to your clothing, is having something that is made for you. But again, that said, I just want to clear up a few things. So the first thing is the idea that when you go in for a custom suit, all you have to do is take a few measurements and then they make it to fit your body. Now there's a huge proliferation of this, especially since the advent of online made to measure brands. And yes, for the vast majority of men, you will be able to get a better fitting product by going through just taking a few measurements than if you get something off the rack. But it's really only just a small piece of the puzzle. It's kind of like if you want to get into better shape, not worrying about your diet, whether that's calories or your macros or even your micronutrients, not worrying about your sleep, but all you're doing is exercising. Yes, you will be in better shape than if you don't exercise at all but you're still way behind where you could be if you were to focus on your diet as well. And so don't think that it's just a matter of taking measurements because a tape measure can be good when it comes to getting lengths and even a little bit when it comes to getting circumferences, but your body is made of more than that. The thing that's really difficult to get is angles. So me, for example, I broke a collarbone when I was 14 and as a result, let's see if we can square it up and you can see my right shoulder, it drops more than my left. And so my suits need to be made so that my right armhole is actually lower down on the chest piece than where my left armhole is. I never got that from taking measurements. The only way that I was able to figure that out was by making multiple suits and then using not only those but even fit samples as like try on pieces. And so that's where you get into more robust main to measure programs like what we do at Beckett and Rob or certainly like in full bespoke. So they take a paper pattern, they make it way too big and then they put it on your body and then what they do is they narrow it down and then they assess and then they narrow it down and then they assess and so that way they can get all the different variables like if your right shoulder drops more or if you've got really big lats in comparison to your chest and so the whole posture has to be shifted or what the sleeve pitch is because do you rest with your arms back here or do you rest with them forward here and how does that change the cant of the sleeve and all these other things that you cannot get with the tape. And so again, just by focusing on measurements, you're not going to be able to get the full picture and you're not going to be able to fully capitalize on everything that custom suiting can do for you. Now the second thing is one that I want to kind of present to you with a grain of salt because it's based on how in-depth the experience is because you start with off the rack, you go to like online made to measure, you go to in-person made to measure that's just done with measuring tape, then you get into a fully made to measure program where they're using fit samples and then you get all the way up to like full-fledged bespoke and as you get higher and higher and the caliber of the company that you're working with gets higher and higher, this principle becomes less and less but it's another thing that still comes into play even up here at the top tier of bespoke. And that is the idea that even when you're doing like the best of custom, it's not going to be 100% perfect your first suit out of the gate. It's just, it's not because you have to figure out what you want and you and your tailor or you and your style consultant need to figure out how to communicate with each other what you want. Now this is when you know you're really seeing a quality person and I've experienced this with haircuts, with suiting, with fitness programs and nutrition coaching. The more that you have an expert who's willing to admit that it's, it's a process, it's not just an end product, and that they're willing to say, yeah, we're gonna keep working on this. We're gonna keep cutting your hair until we can get it right. We're gonna keep tweaking your diet plan until we get it right. We're gonna keep fine tuning your pattern on your suit until we get it perfect. That's the kind of person you wanna trust because that's the kind of person who knows their craft so well that they know what they don't know and they know how to actually apply that to you. Again, you could start here and 
this is where you get this this is where for me it gets really frustrating because you will get really cheap fly by night brands who will say like perfect fit from the beginning every single freaking time and they come and then they just they they can't do it and what they're banking on is that you don't really know what a perfect fit is all that matters is that it's slimmer than what you could get off the rack especially if you were under 45 years old and you're kind of moving in that slimmer suit direction these guys they're happy. They don't even know that they can't adjust for sleeve pitch or, or shoulder slope or those variables. And so they're happy if they could just make you a skinnier suit than what you would get. And it's not embarrassingly tight. And they're banking on the fact that you don't know any better. And so they expect you to walk away a happy client. Now, as you move on up higher, your level of expectations as a client will continue to get higher. And again, once you get into full bespoke, then it really does become a back and forth with a full bespoke tailor. But here's the thing. Even if you buy a fully bespoke suit, it takes six months, you spend 10 grand, and it's your first time working with one of these tailoring houses, that first one is going to be a finished and completed garment that you both sign off on, this is done, and there will be things when you go into the next one that you say, I want my sleeves to be a little bit longer, or let's mess with the back width a little bit, or let's play with X, Y, or Z variable a little bit more. And you will still want to and love wearing your original suit, but as you get further and further into the process with a tailor that you trust or with a style consultant you trust, then you will be more and more comfortable saying, actually, I want to tweak this because now I've worn this a little bit and I know that I actually don't like this the way that I thought I would. Or, yeah, you were totally right. I do like this more than I thought I would. And let's not just kind of half-hearted anymore. Let's dive in and follow this completely. And so don't think that if you go in and you buy a custom suit, or custom anything, that it is gonna be 100% perfect right out of the gate, and if it's not, then that means you've been taken for a ride, because that's not the case. You need to go in understanding that, again, it's a process, it's not a product. Now the third thing is the misunderstanding that somehow, if you get a custom piece of clothing, you're never gonna see it wrinkle, which I don't quite get this one, but I see it all the time where I will have Clients, or you will especially see this on threads like on Style Forum or anything else where, where if the client isn't standing perfectly still as in entirely catering his body to the drape of the suit, then you get comments about, well, there's some wrinkling through the back or it doesn't fall perfectly through the waist or there's some bunching up in the sleeves. And yes, obviously you want to mitigate that as much as possible. But the only way to 100% get rid of any sort of wrinkling, especially as you're moving, you're in different positions, you're presenting to the board of directors or you're walking through an airport or you're doing something that actually requires motion, there's going to be wrinkles. And the only way to not have wrinkles is to either make it out of leather or make it out of metal. And Suits are neither one of those, they're cloth. And so expect there to be wrinkles and embrace that aspect. Same thing with your shirts, with your jeans, with anything else. It's never gonna fall completely clean and completely perfect. And even if it did, you don't want it to look like that because then you look like you can't live in your stuff. Because then you look like you are the supplement to your suiting. Not that your suiting is a supplement to you and the life that you're living. So I hope that clears up a few things. I've just experienced this over and over and over again. And it's a thing that really I feel comes from a lack of understanding in general because unless you're in the menswear world, you really don't talk about suiting like this. Like this isn't the thing that you talk about with a bunch of guys after you're done playing a pickup game like a basketball. It's like, well, yeah, let's talk about your suit. You know, like I know that that's not a normal thing unless you're really kind of looking for content like this. But then the other thing is that it's also the result of lower quality brands and tailors who try to sell you on an ideal without being able to actually provide on that. And so we as a culture have this idea that custom equals perfect and all you have to do is take measurements, do it once, and it's never gonna wrinkle. And the reality is it just doesn't work like that. So I would love to hear your guys' experience with this, especially if you have done custom multiple times. Oh, and here's the other thing. If you jump from brand to brand, then you start the process all over again. Just like if you go from one barber to another, yeah, you as a consumer know a little bit more and so you're able to better communicate what your desires are. But if you go from one brand to the next, you basically start that relationship all over again and you end up losing some ground. So especially from you guys who have done multiple garments from the same company, do you feel like it was a process that continued to get better and better? And then especially from you guys who've had an experience where it wasn't everything that you expected. I wanna know, do you feel like your expectations were actually a little bit unreasonable now that you know a little bit more, 
or do you feel like the company just kind of took you for a ride? Leave your comments down below. Can't wait to hear from you guys. As always, leave me a thumbs up and I will catch you guys on the next one.